good morning dear students today we are going to discuss about the uh, components of a power system electrical power system that is you might be hear the word power system the power system which is consist of a network which consist of generation distribution and transmission system the power system is a network which consist of generation distribution and transmission system so you might be having the basic information that the power which is generated from the power generating station is not used in the nearby it is generated and transmitted through the transmission line and distributed to the consumers through the distribution system so the entire network starting from the power generation and transmission then distribution to the consumers this whole is called as a power systems you might be seeing that sir. let us to say that i have a yeah, power system the power system power generating stations you might be knowing there are so many different type of power generating stations thermal power plant nuclear power plant or you can say hydro power plant nowadays we have the non conventional as resources solar power plant is famous present is right the basic power generation if you consider that we are doing more from the coal power generating station uh, and uh, nuclear power generating station hydro power generating stations like that right so when you have the power generations and that is generating station then you may step up them through the transformer and uh, through the transmission lines they have been stepped up and uh, it is passed through the transmission line then step down <laughs> before it is going to Uh, distributed to the consumers so typical system will have the power generation step out transformer power transmission step down transformer and power distribution right let us to see another one also this is you can simply say typical representation of the power system i am showing here a power plant a power plant of anything and it is like a photovoltaic cell that means you can say a solar power plant and a 12 volt 12 kilo volt is generated then step up transformer then it is step up to the 400 kilo volt through the transmission line and step down further in the substation then it is to the 13 kilo volt then step down further for the distribution level to the 240 volt you aware that at in the distribution side we have two type of consumers one consumer may have single phase supply of 240 volt and another consumer have the 440 voltage of three phase supply it depending upon the the consumers uh, load if those who are having big houses and uh, they need more load that they may use the three phase system and uh, those who have very small house they may use the simple sing, single phase supply with the 240 volt and for the higher uh, industries and other people may have this 13 kilo volt and further they may have themselves further subdivisions right this is a typical power systems where you have been shown the power plant and uh, step up transformer transmission line and step down transformer further distribution line and it is small house right so typical power systems as i told you it is include the power generation transmission and distribution this is the basic definition of the power system which is consist of the three element together which is power generating station that is power plant then transmission system through the transmission line and a distribution system through the distribution line to the consumers right so three components mainly and this also another example have been taken the large system transmission system is taken and through the transformer transformers 
then transmission line then power transformer then it is giving to the big industries like that another diagram have been here shown for the examples so now you come to the what are the major components of the power systems in the power system what are the major components you say already we have said major component of the power systems are synchronous generator synchronous generator means it is nothing but the alternator which is kept in the power plant for the purpose of power generation so power generation is done with the help of the synchronous generator in the power plants like thermal power plant hydro power plant nuclear power plant and the wind turbines right there and this is not applicable for your conventional case of solar power plant solar power plant we are using the photovoltaic cell which is generating the dc power supply right so it is yet but actual power generating systems power system which is large scale consider of the generating stations of synchronous generator would be there right and uh, synchronizing equipments circuit breakers isolators earthing switches bus bars transformers transmission lines current transformer potential transformer relays and production equipments lightning arresters <coughs> station transformers motors for driving actually in power station this all are the major components of the power system major components of the power system synchronous generator synchronizing equipment circuit breakers isolators earthing switches bus bar transformer transmission line current transformer potential transformer relay productive equipments like that right so we will be seeing them one by one in detail and i am here showing a a typical power system diagram simplified single line diagram of a typical system where it is the generator is zone generator is zone by it is then its symbol is then alternating current generation generator and it is connected to the bus bar this is called as a bus bar where the generated feed and the transmission also connected this see one side the generating station is connected through the step up transformer to this bus bar and another the transmission line is connected and here again switching station to further reduce the voltage level right and <coughs> for the substation for the further voltage level reductions that means suppose i have here 11 kilovolt generator it is step up to the some higher level through the step up transformer further it would be transmitted with high voltage to the transmission line again it will be step down step down here then further also the secondary transmission then further step down for use of the end user distributors here you will have the distributors of the a uh, single phase or three phase right so this is a typical power systems a single line diagram we say this is a single line diagrams the where we have been showing here one bus bar and this is the another bus bar this is another bus bar the different bus bars which is connecting interconnection which is providing interconnection between your generating station and transmission lines also some bus bar you can take the load also right the bus bar is nothing but a conductor which is providing the uh, interconnections between your power generating stations and the transmission line and some somewhere the heavy uh, load consumers they can also feed the power from the bus bar itself also right so this is simple a representation of the single line diagram of the entire power system entire power system right so let us to see now one by one the components so let us to see about the synchronous generators the synchronous generators are used in generating stations or revolving field type owing to it is inherent advantages that means it is nothing but the gen synchronous generator they are used in the power generating stations or the rotating machine so they produce the alternating current they produce the alternating current the synchronous generators based on the type of prime movers to which they are mechanically coupled they may be classified that means see generators you already know it is need a mechanical input mechanical input to the uh, mechanical turbine so if you if you have the uh, hydro power plant there you will have the hydro 
<coughs> turbines with the hydro generators and turbo generators and diesel engine diesel engine is nothing but a diesel motor which is coupled to the alternator like that will be the right so uh, if you take a simple uh, ac alternator it will have the two winding you know very well one is armature winding another one is the rotor winding right so the basic operation of the alternator you know when the conductor is rotating the magnetic field emf is produced which is alternating in nature so that all you know very well right three phase alternator which will produce the three phase voltage three phase current which is represented here right so this we need not to go in depth because you already have studied them in machine 1 and 2 right machine 1 and 2 so this is a, a simple representation of the a three phase alternator which is produce a three phase supply right so again the same thing has been shown here the next component is the power transformer power transformers are used for stepping up the voltage for transmission at generating station and for stepping down the voltage for further distribution at the main step down trans substations right that means what after the generating station you will have this step up transformer and it will be feed the high voltage to the transmission line then further in the receiving side you will have this step down transformer it will be uh, stepping down the voltage and uh, for the distribution purpose so usually uh, the oil cooled transformers normally use three phase transformer three winding transformers are normally used in the uh, power transmission systems right next this is like a typical power uh, transformer which have the uh, different parts the conservation tank breather low voltage bus power cooling turbines uh, train off tank cover main tank inside you will have your windings right this all you have studied in machines one transformer a winding and purpose of the transformer and it is a conserve conservation conservator tank breather this all those things cooling tubes for the cooling the uh, transform this all you have seen right so you will have the power transformer in the power system power transformer in the sending and step up and receiving and step down that's all that you have to keep in your mind this all is also showing and uh, right also here i have shown another generating station stepping up transformer transmission line step down transformer and consumers which different consumers they are showing sub sub transmission consumers primary consumers secondary consumers it is depending upon the uh, voltage level secondary consumers mean they will using only low voltage primary consumers 30 kilo volt industries they are the industries right they are the industries so next to let us to come for the uh, another component switch gear So switch gear is nothing but it is a protective devices. Similarly, the low voltage switching and the reversible fuses. A switch is used for operating and closing of an electric circuits when a fuse is used for overcurrent production. Every electric circuits need a switching device and a protective device. Switching and protective device have been developed in different forms. Switch gear is a general term covering a wide range of equipment connected with the switching and protective device switching here the word is nothing but the purpose of them is used to switch the circuit from one condition to another condition that means when you have some problem with the systems it will uh, disconnect the switch or it will disconnect the system and uh, after the problem solved it will connect the system right that is the switch gear switching the uh, devices switching the devices for the purpose of protecting the uh, power system component so we we will be seeing one by one what are the switch gear components are there in a power system switch gear purpose to one is switching during normal operating condition for the purpose of operation and maintenance normal operating condition also you will be doing switching operation for the purpose of maintenance and switching during abnormal conditions such as short circuit and interrupting the fault currents so switch gear equipments also very useful at the time of any abnormal conditions occur 
uh, in this system short circuit if any short circuit occur then high current will flow so this system has to be uh, isolated from the uh, other section so the switch gear devices are be used and when any fault occurs that fault section has to be isolated from the uh, good section otherwise the entire power system will get problems right so the switch gear's main purpose under the abnormal conditions also it protect the devices and normal condition for the purpose of maintenance we may dis we need to disconnect the uh, supply from the uh, devices so that purpose also we are using the switch gear devices right so mainly you consider the switch gear device circuit breakers circuit breakers are mechanical device designed to close or open contact members thus closing or opening of electric circuit under the normal or abnormal condition that's all circuit breaker the breaking the circuit breaking the circuit that is a mechanical device which connect or disconnect the circuit under the normal condition and abnormal condition normal condition for the purpose of uh, maintenance purpose abnormal conditions to make safety of the uh, other equipment so automatic circuit breakers which are usually employed for the production of electrical circuits or equipped with a trip coil connected to a relay or other means designed to open the breaker automatically under the abnormal conditions such as overcurrent so this is automatic circuit breaker means what the circuit breakers normally will have with a relay the relay is nothing but this that you will study them in depth in the switch gear device you will have one Uh, subject switch gear device there you will study the very detail circuit breaker so the circuit breaker will have the input from the relay right circuit breaker will have the input from the relay relay is not a circuit breaker right the input for the circuit breaker is received from the relay that means the relay will be um, continuously monitoring the uh, system condition if the any abnormal condition rise the relay will give the signal to the uh, circuit breaker so the circuit breaker will disconnect the circuit and <laughs> once condition is normal then the circuit breaker will get closed that is what the automatic circuit breakers that is automatic circuit breaker so circuit breaker is used to break the circuit under the normal condition as well as abnormal conditions and the circuit breaker will work based on the relay input right that is very important relay input based on the relay input the circuit breaker will work right this is a circuit breaker uh, diagram and another one is the isolator i said that circuit breaker is connecting disconnecting the uh, your equipment or your devices from the uh, faulty sections so what does this isolator isolator also is going to use to isolate the circuit so but the difference what are the major differences between isolated and circuit breaker circuit breaker will work under the normal and abnormal condition automatically but isolator we will do ourselves when you want to disconnect your supply for the maintenance purpose right when you want to do some maintenance works there you isolate the section from the supply and you do your maintenance right circuit breaker is not like the circuit breaker will be Uh, monitoring both the conditions when the abnormal condition occur or any disturbance occur by the time it, for the purpose of safety of the equipment it will disconnect but isolator we do ourselves to isolate the uh, any section which we would like to do maintenance right that is the difference we will be also seeing isolators like a switch only right so i have here list out the some of the differences between the circuit breaker and the a uh, disconnector that is isolator it is designed to interrupt normal as well as short circuit condition that means circuit breaker will work under normal condition as well as abnormal condition of any fault to disconnect your uh, fault section from the good section but it is not designed to interrupt any current to so isolator only used for the purpose of disconnecting the uh, power system when you would like to do any maintenance work right by yourself it is an on load device that means it can operate when the supply is on when the supply is off both the condition but it is only off load device 
isolator is off load device uh, circuit is on load device right so it, it can only operate when supply is off right and it can operate automatically based on the relay command it cannot operate automatically that is important circuit breaker getting the input from the relay command and automatically work based on the relay command but uh, uh, isolator it is not like that it is not going to operate automatically right there is no earth switch provided with the circuit breaker here the singular double earth switch will be provided with the disconnector that means isolator right it is used to protect the circuit from the fault current yes when any fault is occur the relay sense the fault and it will give the information to the circuit breaker so the circuit breaker will disconnect the fault section so the circuit breaker will provide the protection to the circuit during the fault condition it is used to disconnect or isolate a part of system which unable as to carry out the maintenance that's all right a switching off circuit breaker give rise to over voltages that is when you do a switching operation there may be chances for the over voltages occur switching or disconnecting does not give any rise to over voltages as it is off load device off load device sir so it will not have any voltage rises so like that we have a different some of the difference between the uh, circuit breaker and uh, the isolator right so automatic device sir this is not automatic manual maintenance purpose we use isolator this is for both the purpose so that is some difference so you can also see this is your transmission line this is also another line i have isolator here i have a isolator here this is my circuit breaker this is my circuit breaker so isolator means when you want to do some maintenance work under this line a you just uh, disconnect disconnect the line a from this line b so you can there will be no supply you can work on this similarly when you want to do some maintenance work on line b you disconnect with this isolator and do the work here that is for you can see uh, circuit breaker here is there here isolator circuit breaker and isolator so isolator different circuit breaker different right next earth earthing switch earthing switch is connected between the line conductor and the earth normally it is open and it is closed to discharge the uh, voltage trapped on isolated or disconnected line that means when you are disconnecting there may be some voltages that should be earthed so that's why earthing switch is connected between line and conductor and earth so normally open type and when you want to uh, discharge to the uh, the voltage to the ground then you will have to close it right that is the earthing switch you have earth this is the earthing switch diagram and they are the right will connect to earth for the purpose of discharging to this earth next bus bar the bus bar term is used for main bar or conductor carrying an electric current to which many connections may be made i already told you bus bar is nothing but a big conductor which will have the connections or it is providing connection between your power generating station and uh, transmission line right the bus bar or merely convenient means of connecting switches and other equipment into various arrangement the usual arrangement of the connection in most of the substations permits working on almost any piece of equipment without interruption to incoming or outgoing feeders that means you can there are so many incoming outgoing uh, lines should be connected with your bus bar see this is a bus bar this is also a bus bar which is providing connection to the the connections it may be to any for the transmission or maybe to the power trans generation stations and this transmission line and this another station you can connect one station here and you can connect one stations here then you may transmit so it is providing the connection between your power generating stations and transmission line or you may it is used for the interconnection of the different power generating stations right the so big conductor that's all so when you want to protect this bus bar you will have the circuit breaker 
here also and circuit break here also both the side of the bus bar you will have the circuit break this is actually relay contact i said na current sensing device relay contact it will uh, continuously sense the current and uh, when any over current is comes that uh, coil energized and it will give a signal to circuit breaker for the purpose of disconnection over current protection current sensing device current transformers you can say so next this is your bus bar this is a bus bar or yb bus bar big bus bar big conductor you will have so many uh, connections from here you see this so many connections bus bar this is the bus bar right? or yb or yb flip red yellow blue or yb connection we say na we normally used to say connections ROB connection there. Line, three phase line, bus bar conductor. Also, here I have been show, I am showing them very clearly generators, isolators, main bus bar, and auxiliary bus bar is also connected. In order to, when this main bus bar is having any problems, you can get power supply through this auxiliary bus bars. That is why uh, main bus bar, auxiliary bus bar, additional, you can say additional type. Generating station, a bus bars which is connected to the generating stations and feeding to the consumers also through this way transmission line. Right, this is the bus bar. And then lightning arresters. The lightning arrestor is a, a surge diverter and it is used for the protection of power system against the high voltage surges. When any high voltage rise due to the lightning, it is used to divert the line or current and divert the current to the earth. So divert the incoming high voltage to the earth. The lightning arresters act as safety wall designed to discharge electric surges resulting from lightning strokes, right? Whenever a lightning occurs, so it will be helpful to discharge the high voltage to the earth. That's all. So that you can make your equipment safety, right? That is lightning arrestor. Lightning arrestor is also here. They are the shown lightning arrestor. So lightning arrestor would be connected. It is connected between the lion and the earth. And so diverted the incoming high voltage to the earth. Lion and earth. When high current comes, it will be diverted to the earth. Right? This is the lightning arrestor. So we have discussed now what are the major components are present in the uh, power system. What are the major components present in the power system that we have discussed. So what does power system? Power system is nothing but the network, electrical network, which consists of Generation, distribution, and transmission. Right. The power system is a network, electrical network, which consists of generation, distribution, and transmission. The major components of the power systems are synchronous generators, synchronizing equipment, circuit breakers, isolators, earthing switches, bus bar, transformers, and the transmission lines, current transformer, potential transformer. See current transformer and what you, you may have some question. What does power transformer and current transformer? Current transformer is a measuring device. That is, you high voltage or high current you cannot measure. So it will provide the low uh, some ratio. Uh, it will provide the measuring device for the purpose of measuring the currents, high currents, the current transformer for the purpose of measuring high voltage, the potential transformer is right. So current transformer, potential transformer are the Instrumental transformer. We say it's an instrument transformer for the purpose of measuring the currents and voltage in the high voltage system, right? And the power transformer, they are the transformer which is used for the step up and step down. So that is, you should have understood that difference you should know. Power transformer used for the step up, step down of the voltages. So current transformer and the potential transformer, they are used for the purpose of measuring the high currents and high voltages, right? That is the difference you should understand. So now we have come to the conclusion that we have discussed about the uh, power system components, right? Power system components, what are the power system components are present in the power system and what is our power system? So with this, with this we could uh, complete our 
uh, today's lecture next class we will be discussing with uh, some other topic thank you very much for this listening this lecture thank you very much dear students